Hey, mister. Monk Malone, you know him? I'm supposed to meet him here. Hey, relax. He went outside for a few. He'll be back. Take a seat. Keep the car running. It's a work day. Keep your mind on the job. Hey, Francis! Marty! Over here! Hey, sis. How you doing? How's the old man? Good. Most days, he's tired. That's better, Fred. I'm gonna buy some fruit. Okay, Bob. Not a chance. What's up? Monk! Thank God. Luca's dead. Luca? Thank you very much. You're very kind. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Call in the ambulance, Monk. No. You'll be all right. Frankie, my sister, she's out there. Make sure she's okay. Sent you. So lots. He's got your consigliere Tommy. They're hiding in an old diner in Brooklyn. <laughs> He's in an old diner on the waterfront. I swear, that's all I know. You bastard! You okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. I've met worse than him. <sighs> You're Frankie, right? Monk's sister. Yeah, why? He's been shot. Oh, God. What happened? It was a hit. I think the Don is dead. Hey, you gotta help me get my pup to the hospital. Get in. We'll follow the ambulance.
Drive the ambulance to the hospital. It's on the north side of Little Italy, near East Houston Street. Step on it! We gotta find the hospital! Some help here. Uh, let's get some help over here. Hey, Fred. Get some help. What the hell happened? Sonny, Sonny, I. I... Easy. Easy. I'm in the stretcher. Easy. Pop! God damn it! Right, back away, back away. Right, let's, go, let's, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's this guy watching a movie? Get him out of here! Fredo, get your ass over here. Hey, kid, don't mind, Sonny. It's just that seeing his pop like that. So what happened out there? We got trapped on the bridge. Guy there says something about Salazzo and your consigliere. Consigliere? Tom, what else did he say, kid? This is important. What else? He said they were in an old diner in Brooklyn. Christ. I hope Tom is OK. He's not the fighting type. We'll take it from here, kid. Head on over to the compound. That was Clemenza, big fish in the Corleone family. If he says go meet him, me? he better go meet him. Miss Luca Brazzi. I wanted to be just like him. I remember one time he killed one of our own guys just for giving the Corleones a bad name. You're not gonna give the Corleones a bad name, are you? Salazzo kidnapped Tom, but Tom talked his way out of it. Incredible. Tom's free, and not a scratch on him. I wonder what Salazzo's thinking. He's already shown his hand. I don't know. Nobody kidnaps a consigliere and gets away with it. They let Tom go. He's waiting for you, in the office. Tom's in the office. I bet he wants to thank you. Let me speak plainly. The Corleone family has need of men like you. Because as we speak, our enemies encircle us, waiting to prey on any sign of weakness. What can I do for the family? We would like to offer you a role as an unofficial enforcer for the family. See that we maintain control on the streets, help us to regain our true balance. In time, you will become a trusted associate to our family, and then, God willing, you will become one of our made men. Salazzo is known as a Turk. He's supposed to be very good with a knife, but only in matters of business or some sort of reasonable complaint. The Tatalia family is behind him here in New York. 
They have to be in it for something. I'm hungry. Anybody else hungry here? Hey, Clemenza's looking for you. Over at the Falconite. How you doing, kid? Got a job for you. You're interested? Anything for the family. We got a problem with a Tatalia wise guy, Mikey Soleri. He hangs around that butcher shop you earned for us. Take him out. Take your time with this kid. Don't do anything stupid. You know, trucks are a good place to start. I started by robbing trucks. I remember telling Pop uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. He tells me, yeah, every man has one destiny. Well, today, today my destiny is all about wanting what the hell's inside of them trucks and what it does for me, you know what I mean? You know, it's like the old days. We hit their rackets, we put them out of business, but I mean, starts with the trucks. What do you know? <laughs> trucks end up uh, at the businesses, dirty businesses, dirty secrets. You, you just gotta look. You know the kind of look I'm talking. It, it kind of... Gets moved along a little quicker when you run a pistol up their ass. <laughs> Makes them kind of lead you to where you want to go a little quicker. It's my turn. Hey, get out of here. I'll beat you to a pulp. Lots of blood and knives here. Get the picture? Beat it, punk. I'm taking over this job. Face full of fist, step right up! Don's still in bad shape. Why don't you go over to the hospital in Little Italy and keep an eye on things? You think there's gonna be trouble? The police got the building under wraps, but they're not our guys, and I don't trust them. Go help out at the hospital. After that, maybe we can do business. Those Tatayas are scum. Go over to Brooklyn and wipe out every last one of them. The Strachis are brutal. If they ain't fighting some other family, they'll fight each other. You look like you want to talk to me? I know a secret about those delivery trucks. Could earn you a lot of dough. Interesting? I'm interested. What are you thinking? Them trucks ain't all legit. Some are smuggling goods for the mob. Stop them with a little firepower, then interrogate the driver. You'll find out where they're coming from.
The Cuneos are honorable, but if you cross them once, they'll hunt you down. The Barzinis, nah, they seem okay. Keep to themselves, pretty much. You can trust the Cuneo, but mess with their business, and you're a dead man. I hear the Barzinis are good allies, long as you don't cross them. Never trust the Stracci. They're like animals, believe me. The Tetalias have gone soft. Just knock them over and poof, <laughs> they're gone. Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection. 